What's up everyone? Welcome back. This is Dan from DHTV and today I'm going to be showing you how to connect your PS5 to your computer, MacBook, laptop, or PC. This is going to be using the PlayStation 5 Remote Play feature and it's going to allow you to use your PlayStation 5 somewhat wirelessly using your laptop and your DualSense controller. Now I strongly recommend you watch all the way to the end of the video as it is a little bit tedious to set it up, but once you're set up, it's super easy. Let's get started. All right, now before we get into this, it's important that you have everything set up to ensure that the process runs as smoothly as possible. So first off, you're going to need your PlayStation 5 and all the accessories that came with it in the box. So that means the DualSense controller, the USB cable to plug into the controller, HDMI, and the power cable. And you wanna make sure everything is plugged in and turned on like so. So we have it plugged into a monitor right now for the setup process. Once we're done, you won't need the monitor anymore. You'll be playing off your laptop. Secondly, you want to make sure you have a laptop, PC, Mac, or a computer, and also you want to make sure that your internet connection is at least high speed and consistent to ensure that you're not getting laggy gameplay and that it runs as best as it can. Now we're moving over to our computer. We're going to install the PS Remote Play software, and you can access this page just by going to the website. You see it at the top here, but I'll also put it in the top comment. I'll link it there. But when you're on this page here, you can read through how it works, but mainly what we want to focus on is the section here, control your PS5 console. And you want to choose the option that fits the computer you're using. So for us, it's a Mac. So we're going to click control your PS5 console from a Mac. If you're using Windows, choose that. Now this is showing you the minimum requirements that your computer needs to have for this process to work. But we're going to go through the process here because we already made sure of that. So the install the app section, you want to click to agree to the off-platform license agreement and then click download. Now for me, I have it automatically set to go to my downloads folder on my Mac. If you're using Windows, just make sure you find where you saved it, either in your downloads folder or whatever file you left it in. This is the application, it's Remote Play Installer. So we're just gonna open that, either double click or right click to open. And then we have the wizard here, which is just gonna walk us through the process. It's very simple. We'll click continue to start. And you can see it's only going to take 23 megabytes of space on the computer, which is almost nothing. So we'll click install. If you're prompted, enter in your computer password. Click install software. You've now installed the software to your computer. We can click close. And you can choose here if you get a prompt uh, to move the installation file to the trash. We're going to do that. And then we just want to open the file up. So it's for us in the launch pad of our Mac. It might be in your download folder or wherever you had it installed to. And when it opens up to this page here, just click sign in to PSN. You'll want to enter in your email address and password that you use with your PlayStation network and then click sign in. If you're prompted to enter in the two step verification code, it should appear on your phone find it and enter it in and click verify. From here, we can choose to confirm and continue. This is just the data you're providing to Sony or PlayStation. You can modify these settings as well and choose limited. Either way, once you've chosen, click confirm and continue. Now from here, we can choose which console we're gonna use, but before we do that, we're gonna set up the configuration of how we want it to play. So there's settings here at the bottom left of this screen. If we click on them, you can see that we can choose the resolution for the PlayStation 5, and by default, it's set to 540p, which is the standard. You can go up to 1080p on this particular computer. Now, depending on your internet connection and computer specifications, you might have to choose a lower option here. For this video in particular, I'm gonna set it to 720, just because I have software running in the background as well. You can also choose frame rate and resolution for the PS4. Hopefully, down the road, we'll get options to configure configure that as well. But for now, this is where you can configure them. And when you're done, just close out at the top. And then you just simply choose PlayStation 5 here. Now a pop ups going to appear, it's going to tell us we need to configure the setup on the PlayStation itself. So moving over to our PlayStation, we just want to go to our settings option at the top right. From here, we're going to go to where it says system and open that up. And then we're going to select remote play. 
And the option we want to turn on is enable remote play. So we'll click X, you'll see the switch turns it on. We can exit the settings now. And moving back to our computer here, you just simply select OK on the screen and it should start to connect. Now, while it's searching for the connection and running through this process, don't turn it off or unplug anything and don't disconnect your internet. Just let it do its thing. It may take 30 seconds all the way up to a few minutes. All right, so for me, it took only about 30 seconds. And now you can see that our PlayStation is actually remotely connected to our PC or computer, so we can see everything on screen. The next step, we need to plug in our PlayStation controller to the computer using the USB cable. So one end into the computer, the other end into the PlayStation controller. Now I'll just make this a little bigger on screen here for you. But now that we have the controller connected, everything I do on screen here, you can see is mirroring over to the PC. So I'll just open up a quick game here and you can see that I can move around and you can actually see live any lag that there might be on screen here. So this is with the 720 setup. My internet's pretty good. The computer is an older computer, but it is running with an SSD and has upgraded RAM and everything like that. So it should be fine at those settings, but you can see pretty smooth in this game in particular. Now with this configured, I can actually pull out the HDMI cable from the TV and even from the PlayStation. And you can see that it still works on the computer. And that's what makes this remote play so good. So I can technically take this laptop anywhere and still control everything on screen here and I don't have to interrupt the TV. So that means others now can use the TV watching Netflix or whatever they wanna do while you're playing your PlayStation remotely on your computer or PC from say your bedroom or even another area. Now I haven't been able to figure out if it's possible to use this if you're away from your network. So let's say you're at a cottage or something and your PlayStation's at home if you have remote play set up. I don't know if it'll actually work that way, but if it's going to work, you definitely want to ensure that when you're finished playing, you don't turn the PlayStation off, you enter it into rest mode. So to do that, you just press on the PlayStation button. You get the options that appear at the bottom of the screen. And all you do is click power and then enter the PlayStation into rest mode. Now, when we do that on the laptop, we get an option here that says we've been disconnected. We'll just click OK. And now with the PlayStation in its rest mode, if we ever want to play again, we don't have to go downstairs or to the PlayStation and press the power button. All we have to do is open up our remote play application again, and then your PlayStation will appear right here. Click on it. It'll take a few seconds to connect. And you'll see the PlayStation will start to turn back on and you're connected once again, you can continue where you left off using the controller and continue playing your game. So that's how you use remote play with the PlayStation 5 and how you can connect your PlayStation 5 to your laptop, computer, PC, or Mac. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. I'm still trying to figure out if it works if you're not in the same location as your internet. Let me know if you've tested that out and it worked for you. If you guys found this video helpful, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, click the bell notification box. And if you wanna help support the channel, there's a Patreon link in the description. It really helps me out and I'll be posting tons of PlayStation videos, tips and tricks as the year goes on. So hopefully you guys will join me for those. And if you have any requests, leave them in the comments as well. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.